That's a telescope. Bush gnome. Oh, look at that. Prada. In this bag. Oh my goodness, there's someone's head in here. That's 200 bucks right in this box right here. Not bad. Oh, I feel like it's going to be gross. What is this going to be? Oh, <laughs> the best treasures have been in the garbage bags thus far. Gold jewelry. Uh, on second thought, I just picked that up. Do you see that? On second thought. Oh, hold up. Um, okay, it is not loaded. Okay, that's a, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's pretty dope. Nuts. what's up just stopped by FedEx now I got to go to the dump with this right here tons of stuff tons of stuff out of that unit um, go to the dump go to the post office drop off a couple more packages right there uh, eBay sales are doing okay they're still coming in selling big ticket stuff like the one box right there is wine glasses. I sold a, a set of six for 150 bucks. That little wine locker that I bought a while ago, um, paid 150 bucks for that locker, I think. Something like that. It's paying off big time. I'm still selling stuff out of it. It's incredible. But anyways, um, dump post office back to that unit. See if I can find me some more gold. locker nuts day two of the dig we're back in this unit if you didn't see the previous probably two episodes go check it out this is a really interesting locker cost me nine hundred and ten dollars at the auction plus fees fifteen percent plus I had to rent it because I ran out of time so there's another 158 bucks yeah okay well anyways we got time to go through it I'm glad I did because I wanted to take my time I didn't want to rush it and so far we're finding great stuff like this if you didn't see the last video check it out plus we found a ring and i'm hoping it's the real deal actually i just pulled it out of here yesterday jana's going to the jewelry store today it looks good and it looks big so i hope it's good we'll find out but for now let's get into this and see what other treasures might be hiding inside okay all right yep it looks almost as full as it was originally but a lot of empty boxes on top, a lot of my junk table, hand cart. Let's get that cleared out first and then we'll get started. You guys ready? It's gonna be fun, I think. All right, guys, I got all this drug out. Empty, 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 empty bags. Flea market stuff, workstation ready to go, garbage ready to go, donation uh, pile started. All right, so that's what we got and yeah, made a nice hole. This is kind of where I left off yesterday before I put everything else back in. But where should we start today? I want to get to those bins right there. So let's start working over here. Let's, let's see what we got here. Chemicals. Looks like all bathroom stuff. First aid kits. Perma press. Oh, I don't know what that is. All right, so you do have to look through this stuff, though, because this is where, you know, the bathroom, sometimes, where they stick their jewelry. Sometimes not. <laughs> Sometimes you do find the jewelry that was left in the bathroom drawer or whatnot. You know, they took it off before they got in the shower and then they got put in the drawer and never made it out. Ah, this isn't looking like that though. This is looking like garbage. They really should. Hold up. Nope. Okay, okay. This is interesting because. Marlboro, we did see some other cigarette tobacco type stuff, and it says M99 Bushnell Scope. 
So let's hope that that's what's in here. Could just be a box. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, now that is that's a telescope. Wish no. Deep Space Series 420X. This is brand new, guys. This is brand spanking new. Yeah, look at that. Brand spanking new. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, that was good. Let's see. Okay, we got some. Ew. That's a really dirty. I kind of like church hats because if you watched some of my earlier YouTube videos, I bought a locker that had a bunch of church hats in it. That one's just all smushed up though. And I uh, found a jewelry bag in the church box with the hat. And there was some really nice jewelry in there, including the pinky ring that I usually wear. Right now that pinky ring, the little prongs have come loose, the snags and everything, so I took it off until I get it fixed up. Uh, yeah, there's nothing too special. Really smushed and smashed. That was not bad. Let's donate that one. Alright, got a hard hat. And a little duffel bag. <laughs> with the tow truck on it. Nice brand new. Got some reflective vests in there. Yeah, there's a bunch of work clothing. This is safety... Safety clothing for when they're working on the side of the road. Oh, Caltrans branded. That's that's nice. Uh, this looks like I see a bunch more medicines and stuff. We'll have to look through that though. I'm gonna get a garbage bag though. <laughs> this locker is providing everything we need. What's kind of nice about these bags too is that they're so thick and they're kind of stiffened up a little bit. Look at that. They stand up on their own. In Sonata, a little shot glass, <laughs> liquid paper. I would say that's probably dried up by now, especially since it says fast drying. Oh, yes, hand sanitizer. Good, good, good. We will keep that up to the side. Our spring. Styling gel. Buttons, okay. We're on, definitely on the lookout for these little pill bottles they seem to put their nicer stuff in them yeah that's not a it's hoping to be gold chain nope oh look at that Prada what is it uh -huh. something Prada looks a little hardened up but I don't know for sure bath and shower gel Prada Okay. Wow, they like their nicer stuff, huh? Hmm. Like some nail polish. Hmm. I mean, a lot of junk. You know, this kind of stuff, guys. This, there's no money in this. It's junky, junky, junky. Okay. VTech phone. What's this? Oh, nice. Multi purpose tool. Okay, looks like the cover on one side is missing. That's too bad. All right, still get you out of a jam though. <laughs> you know, what's that? Five hundred dollars? Huh? That's a casino chip for where? Mongolian Gaming Entertainment Company Limited. All right. Oh, found a couple Bart tickets. Eighty cents. Ten cents. Oh boy, that's not so good. Oh, found some stamps though. What we got here? Ten stamps. It was four fifty. Now it's like five bucks. That's five bucks. You know, I don't really use stamps very much anymore because we pay everything online. But come Christmas time, we send out them Christmas cards. We blow through stamps. It's really nice having them. This one's heavy. Okay. <laughs> Happy Easter. That's coming right up too, so. Don't knock it. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. That's really nice. And they took the tusks out so they don't break because that's usually what's broken 
on sculptures like that is stinking fantastic and gorgeous. Okay, he's got a little toe missing right here. It's too bad because it's in, inlaid something. I don't know what it is, but something's inlaid in there. Beautiful. That is gorgeous right there. Another little <laughs> plushy, funny. The next bag. Oh my goodness, there's someone's head in here. Just kidding. Styrofoam. That's pretty cheeky. Oh, that's cool. Poker set with the Oakland A's. Um, the cards are missing, but the chips are all here. And those are cool. See that? They got A's branded chips in there. Nice. <laughs> Olive oil. You could have thrown that away. Wow, look at that purse. Handbag, sack, I don't know what you even call it. And I guess it is a purse. That's pretty funny. Definitely 80s. Yeah, too bad it's got cracking right here. That's probably not real leather. Or else it wouldn't, uh, you know, wouldn't do that, I don't think. Huh. I don't know, it feels like leather though. Well, yesterday I'd cleaned up two locks that were cut. And I see right here, there's a third lock. So this, this has gotten cut three times. Three times. Remember what I said about this locker. The owner had passed away some years ago and the family had continued to pay on it. So apparently three times three times it went to close to auction. Man, that's funny. It's like a Kingo. Close to a Kingo. Not quite. There's an old A's hat. Huh. Alright guys, I'm gonna stop the camera. This looks like mostly clothes. I'm gonna go through it, see if there's anything interesting and i'm going to separate the donated from the dump all right here's what i got that's cool out of that whole bag home sweet dome saints nice t-shirt doesn't look too old but large and then a pair of denim i'm not familiar with the brand it's kind of cool the ripped up 1025 have you guys heard of that i'm not sure if that's a main brand or not 11 slash 12 so women's jeans and the last one which i think is the coolest Sierra Snow Fighters. I don't know. I just like that. That looks a little bit older, too. I think it's a vintage shirt. Jerseys. I think that says 84 right there. I think that says 84. That's pretty cool. Definitely older. All right. Looks like we got more clothes. I'll do the same thing. I'm going to go through this, and uh, I'll pull out the interesting stuff. Okay. There was nothing good in that whole bag. <laughs> Most of it was stained up or really smelled like B.O. Because I don't think those were work clothes. They didn't get washed. Okay. A little top. Donate that. Something a little bit nicer. Donate. Donate. This looks like the women's stuff. Alright, I'm going to go through this. So I'll update you if it's exciting. Don't hold your breath. Uh, nope, that last one wasn't interesting either. Actually, I donated the whole thing. They were... At least they weren't um, all destroyed, you know. They were uh, in good condition. They were just no main brands. Nothing really cool. Nothing cool. <laughs> Aloe infused ultra moisturizing socks. That's a first. I've never seen that before. All right. Starting with the donation bag. Nice pink soft robe. That'll get donated. Come on, Levi's. Let's see. Some okay, Wrangler. That's all right. I think, oh, no, it's not. Those are really dirty. See that? Nice warm clothes here. Sweater. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. I'm getting bored, guys. If I'm getting bored, then you're probably really getting bored. Mm -mm. Dress barn? I think not. Okay, I'm going to just transfer all this into the donate bag so we can move on to the next. Mm, here's a fishing pole. Copperhead. Real. Nothing too fancy. Here's another pole. Ibe Walton. Six and a half. Is that something good? It's got a cork handle. Might be something good. We'll take it to the flea market or the garage sale. <laughs> okay, there's a couple hats. This one looks like a pimp hat. Elope. I don't even know if that's a good brand. But it's like, it's all yellowed, and uh, I don't know, it's, this is a dirty locker. You can tell by my hands how dirty this locker is. I'm not putting that on my head. All right, and this is nothing special. Made in China, felt. All right, so 
That's not a bad looking hat though. Word 6.0 for Windows. I'm pretty sure that's going to be a little outdated. Oh man, look at that. Excel 5.0. There's floppy disks with the program on it. 1994. Woohoo! 27 years old. Paper doesn't go bad though. We'll donate that. It's a few bucks. Alright, next box. And this really is a box. Well, a bin. What is this? That's something fancy. Oh, it's brand new too. Nadungadi silks. It's a sorry. Oh, okay, cool. I thought it was a sorry. Kind of looked like it, but I don't know. I think I've only found a sorry once before. Look at that. Very pretty. Oh, that's some big pants, but to go underneath the sorry, right? And what's this scarf to go with it as well? All right, we got the complete outfit and I know those can be expensive sometimes sorries it can be very expensive so that could be potentially a good find I'd rather find that kind of clothes than the kind of clothes we've been finding in the last three or four bags because those are very disappointing spray bottle it's in here oh something something brand new okay what is this it's sealed shut Two of them. Sealed shut. Ronco. Uh oh, I know what this is. Oh, how funny. You know what? When I saw these, I thought those look like knife boxes. And uh, because I found some before, we found, I think I've got four or five of those sitting on my desk waiting to get listed on, on eBay. This is a knife block. I'm almost positive. Yes. Yes, it is. Ronco brand new knife block. Okay. And that means that these are Ronco knife sets, I believe. They're sealed. They've never been open. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Brand new knives. A full set, sharpener, everything. That's 200 bucks right in this box right here. Not bad. Okay. Ah, empty. I'm gonna have to double check. It feels empty. Mm -mm. It's empty. Okay, let's see. Empty. Alright, I should say it's light as if it's empty. That is empty. And that is empty. Dang it. I was actually hoping these might be full of stuff. Yeah, American Tourister. It's not a bad suitcase, actually. This one's nice right here. That one's a little thrash right there. That one looks okay. There's a little bit of stuff inside this one. What's this? What is this? Something in there. Oh, I feel like it's gonna be gross. What is this gonna be? Oh, someone's gross. Ugh, what do you call that? Uh, the crown or no? Ew. Alright, well, you know what? I'm going to keep that, actually, because I have a little collection of these. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I have sold those before on eBay, if you can believe it. Usually the full set, the full grill. And uh, they sold. They sold. Can you believe that? But then eBay uh, removed the last time I tried it. They removed the listing and said... Don't do that again. So I've never listed them again, but someday I'll figure out where to sell them. They're good for like making monster masks and stuff, Halloween decorations. But also, I think I think some people actually buy them and use them. I can't imagine that because it sure seems like they should be custom made. But people do. People do. All right, I really wanted to get back to those bins. Here we go. Here we go. Mm -mm. Partially used toilet paper. Okay, oh, there's some decent scrub brushes. Yeah, those are actually pretty good right there. Don't eat that. What is that? What is that? I think that's an outfit. That's a little wild. All right, a couple outfits. Don't eat that. What a random mix of stuff. Well, there's some jeans there. So far, I haven't found any Levi's. We do like to find Levi's. Ooh, there's a... 
there's a pair of really disgusting, dirty, bloody underwear, women's underwear. That's pretty gross. Pretty gross. Well, I don't even know why that was in there. Yeah, it should have gone in the garbage, but I guess I keep saying that about lots of things. Uh oh, phone's ringing. Phone's ringing. Uh oh, this could be it. This could be our answer. Hello? Hey, how's it going? Good. Um, so I walked into the jeweler, the same one in Danville. And she's like, I literally handed to her, and she's like, it's a QZ. <laughs> Dang, really? <laughs> she didn't even have to look at anything. She did, but she's like, yeah. I mean, she's like, oh, 10 carat band. 10 carat band, okay. She said, oh, do a lot of, I said, do a lot of people do that? She's like, oh, yeah. Wow. So, I'm like, okay. I'm like, I could look at it for an hour and I think it's real. So I have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, that's too bad. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, you, there you have it. Uh, no luck. No luck on the ring, but boy. Still 10 karat gold band there. So there's there's some money there. Not much, but that's going to be probably 100 or 200 bucks in gold, I would say. Cubic zirconians aren't nothing, but they're almost nothing. But together in a piece like that, it looks really nice. I mean, it's a nice for a costume piece, just a costume piece. It's a nice it's a nice set. So um, we probably will put that up for sale maybe in our live auction. Um but yeah, when I looked at it close under the loop last night, I was like, eh, something about that diamond. I don't think it's right. I don't think it's right. Um, but anyways, if that was a real diamond, that would have been like two carats or um, probably well over one and a half carats. That other diamond we found recently was one and a half carats, and that's legit. Um, this one, I think, looked bigger. So that would have been like a two carat diamond. That would have been, we're talking like, I don't know, $10,000 piece, maybe more, depending on the clarity and the grade. So, uh, mm, missed it by that much, right? <laughs> missed it by that much. It's okay. I still got this necklace right here. This thing right here makes me feel like I'm not going to lose on this locker. Thank God for that because, um, <laughs> thank Jesus for that because uh, I paid a lot, 1200 bucks in this thing. And uh, there's 800 back right here. And that's scrap price. That's not even retail. I can get much more than this for retail because it's a beautiful piece. I'm liking wearing it. <laughs> Jen doesn't like me wearing it, but I like wearing it. But uh, we'll keep looking. You know what? Hey, maybe there's a two carat diamond hiding in one of these garbage bags. Anything's possible. That's why I love this job. Treasure hunting. Let's get in the next box right now. Next box. Next box. Mm -mm. Right away, I'm like, mm-mm, dirty sheets, right? See, they're all stained up. Um, ribbons, bows, whatever. I oh, mean, I was hoping for the totes, but you know what? The best treasures have been in the garbage bags thus far. Gold jewelry. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Oh, there's some Christmas lights there. Well used and loved towels. All right, guys, you know what we're going to do here? We're going to do some speed unboxing. I'll just take out everything off camera, go through it. I'll show you what's the good stuff in a summary type of format. All right, let's start doing that. Next box. You know, I'm starting to get the feeling. I'm starting to get the feeling that the guy's wife maybe passed away uh, some time before, and he put her stuff in these bins, and that's why it's in first. His stuff went in later. I don't know if he went into maybe a nursing home or what happened there. Maybe moved in with some family so they could take care of him in the end. I'm I'm kind of just filling in a lot of blanks here. But that's what I feel like. The lady went in and then his stuff, I feel like, also got put in more hastily, which is why it's just like tossed in garbage bags. There's garbage. There's good stuff all kind of mixed together. I feel like that means he didn't do it. Somebody else did it. I could be way off. Ooh, look at that. We've got two bins right there. That's a good find. <laughs> That's a good find. You know what, guys? Speed and box. All right, speed and box. Let's go. Uh, on second thought, I just picked that up. Do you see that? On second thought. Oh... Hold up. Read manual before each use. Okay, wait, this... Hmm. 
Is this real? No. This is a pellet gun, right? That's the air right there. Whew. That got me going for a second there. Jeez. That got me going. Um. Okay, it is not loaded. Okay. Sounds like there's pellets in there. Little ball bearings or something. Okay, that's uh yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's pretty dope. <laughs> okay, that's an interesting find right there. That is indeed. Of course I was gonna do a speed unboxing, I got totally sidetracked. And oh that dolphin's missing a little few parts right there. This got run over by a cruise line or something. Okay guys. Let's see what else we got in here. I do see some t-shirts, that's good. I just want to see if we find any more handguns. Um, no? Alright, I'll go through this. I'll pull out any good stuff. And we'll get to the next box. There's a vintage shirt. I'm the boss. No questions, no arguments. We'll just do things my way. 1996 right there. That's pretty good. Uh, 1995 right here. 49ers versus Chargers. That's real classy. Typical for 49ers fan. Raiders fans would never wear a shirt like that. Just kidding. Um, but this is probably something they sold in like the parking lot before the game. That would be my guess. I survived Mar Mardi Gras. Shamed I am. No, slammed I am. <laughs> Urban Street, New Orleans. Uh, this guy I think was from New Orleans. I don't see a year on that, but it's probably pretty close to 20 years old or older. It's a big mark for vintage shirts, guys. That's why I pay attention to the t-shirts. New Orleans Saints, Super Bowl 2010. I love Las Vegas. The person wearing this shirt is a police officer. Lie flat on your back and do everything the nice officer tells you to do. Hawaii. <laughs> That's kind of unexpected. I found a couple of Uggs in here. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's a brand new. Brand new Uggs. No kidding. These are um, made in Mexico, it says. Inside there, made in Mexico. They seem to be pretty nice boots. What is this? It's heavy. It's easy. Coins and what is this is. 